You just announced you'll be building the first Hyperloop in Dubai. Why Dubai? People that are extremely excited about it, they're capable of doing it, they have the vision to do it, and they have the, the will to do it. I think the whole country is acting like a startup. So 40, 50 years ago, it didn't exist. It was just a bunch of sand. Really quick, how exactly will it work? If these folks get a ticket on the Hyperloop, what would happen? Inside of the Hyperloop, we basically have a low pressure environment. The whole system's autonomous, so it's really a, a smooth experience that will feel like an elevator ride. I think we actually have video of this. Yes. Um, yes. And so this is kind of the, the next phase of, yeah. of Hyperloop. Why these exist is because we can make a station that's far, far smaller and more compact, highly flexible, and allow you to shift on demand. And so here it is. You can see that nice stable ride, that cup of coffee still warm. Come into the station here. It'll pop out. And these, these pods are highly interchangeable. So you see they're immediately backfilling the transporters that you see. This portal is beautiful because you intuitively know where you need to go. You can see all the gates in one spot. What if these guys drive out on the road? Uh, so that's what we're going for because it's door-to-door -door and you can do it faster than you can before. Oh.